YG 400, uh, Tory Lanez, Davies, uh, free free features. They knew me. I knew them. Uh, I started Ace Tap Rocky's career. Really? We, we, um, yeah, he, he became an adversary of mine. And then, and then we got we got back cool again. So now we now we back cool again. Um, and I'm just grinding. I got a record out right now called Stop Blaming the White Man. Mm. Uh, it's a message. Yeah, it's a message powerful. Family. The way I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell them that you know we choose our own fate. That's know, right. The same you know, we, we make the decisions that we want to make. Mm-hmm. And, you know, our lives in our own hands, and if we stop putting our self power, the power that we have for self on, on other people, mm-hmm. you know, we can protect them. You know, because I'm sorry to say this, but you know, my my my, my a lot of my my people, we we tend to. You know, use excuses. Excuses, baby. Other people. And um, so the message in my in my record is just to to, to uplift. And I, uh, you know, like if you look at the Jews, you know, they they been there, they stink, and you know, they made it happen. You know, they they went to went through similar uh, catastrophes as us, and you know, they made it happen. Mm-hmm. So it, was, it was gonna be in destruction. Like, destruction of self. We live in a world where no matter what is a cloud, it's a dark cloud over this color thing, and this person, whatever, whatever color you are, man, you push yourself, you know, you can reach your destination if you just make sure that you, you take responsibility and accountability for your own actions and understand that nobody else can depict your success or your failure but you. Naka, I'm in love right now. I'm in love right now, Naka. Like, that right there was heartfelt. Because, honestly, like, that's been my whole message through this whole thing is accountability. We Changes uh, by Tupac, I think that speaks to the relevance of what is happening right now and the fact that us as people have to take accountability. Yes, we know that it's happened, but we also have to find ways to heal. Uh, We have to find ways to, and this is a mental thing. Like I put a post out there on Facebook and I asked people, if you had a school that basically could relinquish you of mental slavery, would you go? and generational slavery and people were like whoa where do you where are you going with this this is where we need to go we need to go with education and also therapy um in order to remove these negative stigmas and behaviors um because of what we've been systematically um told was right um or was acceptable so these are the things that i think and and i'm like Again, I thought I was just living in a dream where people were like totally not understanding what I was saying. And I'm like, no, it's not saying that they're not wrong for what they do to us, but it's also what we allow and what we accept and how we deal with it, how we handle it. Um, I think that we're known to be very abrupt um, and angry people. And sometimes that gets in the way of expressing how we want to come across. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it's not... Reciprocate. It's not reciprocated the same way from another race. You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas black people would be like, "Oh, they're not that angry. They're really just, you know, upset about the the situation." Um, but other people might see it as being hostile or, you know, disorderly. So those are the things in regards to behavior control and discipline. I think that we need to have some type, of, you know, fundamentals on that and how to deal with things and not get so angry. Because I find myself sometimes doing that. It angry and it comes across as being aggressive. So self-reflect, sit back and not necessarily.